What's up guys? Welcome to your third Java programming tutorial. Today we're going to be going over integers and doubles, which are basic variables that are used in order to store numbers. And what I'm going to show you is how to set the use of them and also how to output them to the screen. What you're going to do first is you're going to start, if you have your old, if you have your old file, or my hello youtube.java file, Open that back up and we'll just continue from there because it'll make it a lot easier than starting a new one each time. Go to the top of it and let's leave it some space so that we have some room for it to be organized. We don't want it to get messy because like I said in the past, in the first tutorial or the second tutorial, we don't want it to look terrible and not know what's going on because it didn't look good and we weren't able to read it properly. First, we're going to go over integers. Integers are numbers that or any number without, is almost any number without decimals. So let's say you needed a number with, say you wanted to hold the number five and give it the name of x. What you would do is you would type in int, which is short for integer, and we would put it in the name of x. And what you can do from here is either you can stop it right there and it's going to declare it, which is going to make it there and usable in the future, or we can go ahead and we can set its value, which we can set it to five if we wanted to. Doubles are a little different than integers. Doubles include decimals. So if you were to type in double, double, let's say y, and set it equal to 5.1, it would work out because a double is able to store decimal places. Integers are not. They store whole numbers only. Um, from here what we can do is we can add the value of two different numbers. Like let's say we had int z equals 3. And let's take out the value of double y and just make it int y. What we can do later is set int y, and then what we can do is we can actually set that by hitting the equals, which is going to say this integer is equal to, and what we're going to do is we're going to be adding two numbers. So we're going to be doing, uh, we can use, okay, either we can do it two ways. One, we could do 5 plus 3 and end it. I didn't see that. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. If you have an integer and you set it and you set the name to y, you cannot make another integer named y. Uh, what you have to do is you just open it back up, which you immediately start with it, and you don't bother putting this in front of it because it already knows that y is an integer because it was declared up here. Remember, integers are whole numbers. Do not forget that. Do not use decimal places. That are what doubles. Those are what doubles are for. So we have y right here. We're going to set it equal to the value of five plus three. It's going to come out to eight, and we already know this. But what you want to, what you can do in order to check to make sure that it comes out to eight, is I'm going to show you a really nifty way to sh put on the screen exactly what it is. You remember our system out print line command? Well, we're going to be bringing that back up. So we're going to do system out print line, open it up, and in our instead of having our quotation marks like you see here, we can delete that. And all we need to do in order for it to output is put the name of the variable in, close it off. And this way, whenever we run the program by going up here and hit run, down here in the console, it's going to come up with the value of y which is 5 plus 3. Another way we can add up what 5 plus 3 is, since these two were declared up here already, where z equals 3 and x equals 5, what we can do is we can exchange the 5 and the 3. Say, since we know that in x equals 5, we could take this 5 right here and set it to x. Since we know that z is equal to 3, we could take the 3 right here and set it to z. It's going to add both of them up now and it's going to do it the same way that we had it before. All it is is repla it's replacing the x 
with the value of 5 and it's replacing the z with the value of 3. That way whenever we run the program again, it's still going to come up with 8. This is very, very useful because you will never ever need to worry about doing the math in your head on your own. That's what the program is going to be there for. It's going to be able to do all the math you need it to for you. Another thing we're going to add on to today is how to add, like let's say you have this print line method right, or print line right here, and you want to add, or and you want to also display what the value of y is. What we can do is we could take this out right here and delete it, and after the quotation mark, inside of the parentheses, after the last quotation mark, you can do a plus, and you can put the variable name, and it's going to come out with it. So whenever we put plus y, it's going to come out with the, with the, with the sum of x plus z, which is 8. But there's one thing you need to remember. Since there are quotation marks around this, this means this is exactly what it's going to print out, and it's going to have that. There's not going to be a space in here unless you put a space in there. Now, whenever we run this, it's going to be high, 8. And if we didn't have that space in there, run this again, it would just be one line. This is all I'm really going to teach you about today. Um, I'll have, or maybe not today, I might come out with a video later on. Um, probably not though. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe and practice. You're going to need it.